Forests are often called the lungs of our planet. This is because over 40% of the world's oxygen is produced by rainforests. Forests are also essential for supporting life on our planet in all its diversity. 80% of terrestrial biodiversity is found in forests. Without forests, we cannot solve some of the biggest problems facing humanity, such as reducing poverty and curbing climate change. Forests provide us with a multitude of benefits. Food, shelter, medicines, jobs, you name it. More than a quarter of modern medicines originate from tropical forest plants. These health substances are worth an estimated U.S. $108 billion a year. The carbon stored in forests exceeds the amounts of carbon currently in the atmosphere. By protecting our forests, we have the quickest, most cost-effective and largest means of curbing global greenhouse gas emissions. Forest 2011 follows on from the hugely successful International Year of Biodiversity, which saw nearly 200 governments agree on an ambitious global plan to sustain life on Earth. In particular, these governments agreed to at least half the rate of forest loss by 2020 and significantly reduce forest degradation and fragmentation. The International Year of Forests also comes at the heels of the UN climate change talks in Cancun, which concluded with an agreement on how to pay countries for protecting their tropical forests. The International Year of Forests needs to build on the momentum generated in 2010. IUCN works toward making sure that forests deliver their maximum potential for human well-being and biodiversity conservation. At the launch of Forest 2011 in New York at the United Nations, IUCN expects to announce exciting new forest landscape restoration initiatives of global significance. IUCN and partners will also unveil the results of groundbreaking research in understanding the amount of global forests that are restorable. Already, preliminary analysis shows that an estimated 1.5 billion hectares of the world's lost and degraded forests, an area almost the size of, size of Russia, could be restored. IUCN will also continue to work on ensuring that the flow of benefits from the world's forests reaches those who are most dependent on them and those who contribute directly to their conservation. And of course, communicating the importance of forests will be IUCN's major priority in 2011, starting with the high-level launch event in New York and all the way to the next round of UN climate talks in South Africa in December.